altar at the Institute of Culture and Cooperation Mexico Belize on Marine Parade is already being prepared for November 1st. That will mark the start of several days of the event and a display showcasing different foods and sweets that Mexican ancestors liked when they were alive. According to the pre-Hispanic traditions and mixed with the Christian, um, one day a year, or our or late ancestors, or late, I mean, parents, grandparents, child, or people who died, pass away, they are allowed uh, to go from uh, from the other world uh, to come uh, here and enjoy one day with the rest of the family. Uh, for example, the Aztecs believe that they came from the uh, under, on the war and it were to enjoy one night like drinking eating the family the favorite the family uh, food of the disease mm -hmm. and to tell jokes sing together so it's it's not a sad celebration actually it's it's more for honoring life honoring the the, the memories of, of the people who came before us. Francisco Zamora is the head of the Institute of Culture, Mexico Belize. He shared that the occasion is celebrated with all the treats that their deceased persons liked, and the variety could be extensive. Basically, we want to make our ancestors having the food that they like, their, their favorite food, uh, the favorite drinks, the best photos, the special mementos that they have. So that makes them feel welcome back to the family because they are still part of the family. They, they never left us, even if they change to a different reality or different path according to the pre-Hispanic mythology. So they will be with us and in these days they come to visit us. In Belize, mestizos observe the day as well, as Jenny Martinez, organizer of next week's Finados in Benqueviejo, tells us. But it has a slightly different twist. Deceased children are given the first day, known in English as All Saints Day. On the 1st of November, which will be, I guess it's going to be Wednesday or Thursday, we call it the All Saints Day. So we would normally put up an altar for our saints. Our saints would normally be your babies, or if you have uh, a child that didn't make it through infancy, we would put up an altar, and the altar would normally have pictures of the children or the babies. Thereafter, deceased adults are honored. And then on the 2nd of November, we do celebrate All Souls Day. And we would put up an altar with the photos or images of the deceased ones of the people that have died before us of the adults and this altar includes candles they would normally put black candles because the black candles represent uh the the process of dying and the lights which is the candle represents uh christ so this altar would be decorated with black candles many people use colorful candles or any candle that you have but the part of the tradition was putting black candles and then you would put food whatever food they would like they would the your deceased ones would have love chocolates uh rice and beans boyos tamales and then um on the back you would put uh their pictures but while the altars for the dead are adorned with decorations depicting skeletons it is not to be confused with halloween which is another tradition celebrated by Western culture. As part of our traditional culture, we used to dress as duendes or yoronas or ishtabai, and we used to go out on the streets and ask for ispasha, which is the atole, and they would give us special treats, uh, for example, fudges or, or um, any special delicacy, sweet delicacy that the people would make. That is what they would give us. And they would also give you boyos. So um, that was part of our tradition back then. And it is still, but it's been like evolving more into the Halloween event of actually going out and trick or treat and having the people give you sweets. So it's there's kind of a confusion, but um, we still try to instill 
the culture into the people of our society. Yeah, the skeletons is just another stage of our eternal traveling. So when, uh, when we put the, the skeletons, it's just to remember that after we leave this world, we are going to continue traveling and we are going to join our ancestors. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.